don't know about you guys, but whenever I thought about Iguazu Falls, because I had never been here, I thought that like there would be some sort of bridge or like path where you could go from the Brazilian side to the Argentina side. Because when I saw pictures, I see all these walkways over the water and like ar around the water, past the waterfalls. So I sort of thought there was some easier process just like specifically to the falls where you could maybe like take a bridge to see both sides. That's not true. Um, Brazil is one side and then you have to cross the border, go through border patrol, present documents, do paperwork. Uh, sometimes they search the car to get onto the Argentine side to then go through the whole national park, pay for another entrance. Like it's a whole separate thing. In my mind, I thought maybe you could just sort of cross a bridge. It's really important to know this. If you're on a road trip, that your car has to be in your name to cross the border in Argentina and Paraguay. If it's not, you have to go through all this green card madness and usually they just won't let you do that or you probably have to pay by pay bribes, I would imagine. So uh, we just took a, a ca taxi over and that worked for us. We knew exactly where to go, what to do. He helped us fill out paperwork. We got to go through the fast track tourism line uh, as far as the cars and then um, he helped us with transferring money or trans exchanging money hey ice to pesos and then like told us all about the park so our taxi driver was amazing uh, he also spoke some English too which was kind of cool but we speak Portuguese so as far as the price I paid 500 hey ice for both directions to be picked up from our hotel and dropped off here and then he's gonna pick us up this evening probably around five o'clock and take us home. Um, from my research, that it's usually around 450 to 600 hay ice for a round trip to Argentina from the Brazil side. So um, just as long as you know that and you have an idea of price, but that's a possibility that you could essentially walk across as well, but you still gotta get a ride into the park because it's still, I would say, a 20 minute drive from the border to the Argentina side of Iguazu Falls. All right, this is the check-in ticket counter. It's Friday at about 11 o'clock and there are no lines. Um, so today we have just me and four kids. Chris and Cambry are at the hotel. They're not feeling well. So just me and four kids today. And it was 13,500 pesos to get into the park, which is about 300 hay ice. Um, to get into the park today and that's the price for that uh, if you have residents for Argentina you're getting a smoking deal to get into this park but we don't have residents here so that's okay we got we got our resident discounts at the other entrance fees super important tip they do not accept any currency but pesos you can't exchange um, dollars pay ice you either need to use your credit card or you have to bring in cash they have an ATM here, uh, but that's super important. So we got cash and I think we'll have enough to maybe get some souvenirs, uh, but you'll wanna make sure you have pesos um, or a good international credit card when you come here. Okay, this is something funny I just found. This is a hot water station. Why would they have a random hot water station with free hot water? Because Argentinians love their mach tea. So this is the match tea they're always drinking. So you can come and get free hot water to fill your match tea. Only in Argentina. Now, without further ado, we're going to go have some fun. Look at these. Look how pretty. Oh, one landed on you. That's cool. Show me, come here. No! Oh. Ready? Uh -huh. Woo! So this is your exotic fruit. It's called an orange. It's the most delicious and fruitiest fruit, fruit, fruit you have ever heard. You can only find them, show me. You can only find them in the Italian uh, water, forest of the water. And um, it's very exotic. Okay. Uh, me. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. These are so beautiful. Oh, yeah, look. Okay, let's go. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, 
got caught. The most exotic butterfly you have ever seen. It's Let's a see. transparent butterfly. Where? Right here. here. Take it out of the sun, put it in the shade. Slowly, okay, it's still in the sun, honey. Yeah. There you go, hold it up to your face. Cool. Let's see. It's a trans After about a 10 to 15 minute walk along this graded fenced path over water land, over water, you come to the Devil's Throat. Whoa, I, uh, I saw this and I was like, no words, just massive hole. Let's see it from the other angle. We're so close to the falls. So Argentina side is incredible. Incredible. Totally different experience than, than the Brazil side. I highly recommend it. I think this is the better side. I, yeah, I would say Argentina is the better side because you are front and center, uh, just in the devil's throat. <laughs> this portion of the waterfall is called the devil's throat. Um, and it is phenomenal. It is unbelievable and I'm just like filled with this sense of like massive energy water is such a powerful thing in in our lives as the human race like it feeds us it sustains us water is what keeps us alive it also can kill us like you can drown in it water can destroy whole cities tornadoes tsunamis um, water powers cities. Uh, there's a big dam here that you can actually go and tour. Um, you just get this sense and force uh, when you sit here and you come to this this waterfall. Um, you just can feel the power of the water, uh, and it's strong. It is strong. It is energetically very strong. If you guys visit here, I recommend that you take a moment of silence, say a prayer, thank God, your higher power, whoever, because this is so incredible. It's so beautiful and I am just continually so deeply grateful to experience this and to be here with my family. Oh my gosh. about the fall so far? Amazing and huge. Amazing and huge. I think they're beautiful and amazing. Yeah, yeah, yep. what do you think? It's just crazy how, the, how beautiful this is and also the formation of the rocks that lets 
and also the placement of the water that lets the falls be this beautiful. It's amazing. Yeah. Also, the, also the fact that it's in three countries at the same time. Right? And also, Super look how amazing. all the greenery. Uh huh. Like, magic. I agree. We're tired. We're tired. Got Macy over here. That's her. We're sitting down in the middle of all this because it's a lot of walking. It is a lot of walking. It's beautiful. I love the parts that are in the shade. But we're tired. So we were up at the, the very top devil's throat. Then there's the second level called the upper level and then there's the lower level. So we're at the lower level. Hiking around, getting beautiful views, and uh, enjoying the shade at the moment. Okay guys, we're leaving Argentina, back in Brazil. How was that? It was really fun, I had a great really time. Good. I thought, yeah. I think that, so we saw the Iguazu Falls from both perspectives. Now, <laughs> we saw it from Brazil. We saw Messi, yep. No, we didn't. Yeah. We saw, we saw the, it from the Brazil side and from the Argentina side. If you guys come here, I think you should go to the Argentina side instead of going to the Brazil, Brazil, Brazil side. Oh, yeah, you can go to both like we did, but I really enjoyed and I liked the Argentina side better sure. because you get a actual full better view and it was way funner. And there's a train. Yeah, cool. I agree. The Argentina side was beautiful. Then after that, we went into downtown. We did some shopping. We had dinner. And it was a really incredible day. Yeah, I had a great time. Okay. Loved it. I'm Me coming too. back to Jiu Jitsu. I mean, <laughs> Argentina to Jiu Jitsu. Iguazu Falls was life changing. Yeah. That was such a powerful, wonderful experience. I'll never forget it. Okay, so we are in a tourism van, a tourist van. And we're going from the Brazil side of the Iguazu Falls to visit Paraguay. And you have to go cross the border, have your documents, your passports. And we heard the best way to do it is to take a tourism van because there's a special line that's faster and it looks like it. Um, we rented a car to go on our road trip and they said you cannot take a rented car across the border border your the car has to be in your name if it's not they won't let you so we actually heard that from a lot of people so that's what we're gonna do okay so in order to cross the border you can walk you can walk across the border um, or again you can you could take an uber or a taxi you can't take your own car um, your own and this is in your name. And even if it's in your name, you have to get a green card from the Department of Motor Vehicles. And I don't know that process, and I wasn't even gonna do it. So uh, we rented a van to take us across. So we're gonna check out Paraguay. Yeah, yeah. So you can see that there's a covered area for people to walk across this border. This is a big bridge. There's walking and there's driving. And um, it's actually a beautiful area. Paraguay has two idiomas officials, tá? É o do espanhol e a língua nativa deles que é o Guarani. Aqui do lado direito é o Lago de la República, aproximadamente 4 mil metros de extensão. They don't have plastic playgrounds in. We stopped for a bathroom break and then we found this cool amphitheater and the kids are running up and down the stairs. This is an Arabic mosque and it's one of the points of interest in Paraguay. Okay, we are getting ready to try shipas. This is the Paraguay dish. It's a common food here in, in Paraguay. Let's go in.
Okay, so Truman, what do we have here? We have some candies. We have like this. What's it called? Huh? I totally forgot. Sheepa. <laughs> this is the sheepa with meat and with cheese. These are like a pastel thing. Yeah, those have chicken. And then we have these desserts. So, go ahead, T, take a bite. Can I take a bite of this? Yeah. Which one's cheese? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, this is what we wanted to try with these. Can I try it? Please? What does it taste like? Ponji cashew, but drier. Ponji cashew, but drier. Ah, uh, is it good? <laughs> kind, of good. kind of good. What? Might as well men else. Here, let's see. Let's see. Oh, it kind of looks like punji keju, but like bigger. It looks, to me, it looks more like a cookie. How is that? Okay, so we got our juice. Now Macy's gonna try the, the carny, the beef sheepa. Might as well men else? Let me see. I don't think there's enough beef. And it's like really old. No. Is it just dry? It's really old. <laughs> no, it's supposed to be like You just don't have the Okay, now we're trying the sweets. Okay. Okay, so I have this like looks like two green cookies that have like a hole in the middle. What and fruit? Is there fruit in the middle? No, it looks like a apple jelly. Mm -hmm. or Try it. Some, I don't know. Okay. Nice. You need to get some of that jelly. Yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But in the side, it looks like purple. Mm -hmm. What does it taste like? Why? It tastes so off. It tastes a lot of times too. It tastes like. It tastes like. Like these little cookies that they have in Brazil, like what they put where I bought that one. Oh, oh yeah. And they yeah. taste like okay, you try. Okay, this is how it looks. Like. Cam, How's it taste? Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sounds good? Yeah. I want to see um, yeah, me what me these cookies are like. I'm gonna try. Oh, it's sweet. I'm gonna try this donkey thing. But it's definitely on the, it's on the soft, dry side. It's dry, but it's soft. It's not overly flavorful. It's okay. It's just a little biscoito. Okay, now the moment Lexi has been waiting for, this purple cookie. Mmm! It's soft. What? It's soft. What does soft taste like? Like... It's squishy. What does it taste like? It, it's sweet, um, crunchy because of the um, sprinkles, but it's very good. Was that the basket that Moses was in? No, Moses. Moses, yeah. It was a I don't know. He could have. He could have been in a, in a big basket with like bread and stuff. All right. Let's see what's over here. Oh, serious, serious. Ah, yikes. Oh my. Ew. That's gross. He's so small. 
There's an even bigger one over there, Mom. Come with me. Paraguay is known for its shopping. You're supposed to be able to get amazing deals here. Oh, a space mug. That's yeah. cool. That I love space. Nice. That's cool. And I'm also a awesome. Lego mug. If Papa can't fix it, no one can. Right? <laughs> Okay, we are in the markets in, in Paraguay and this place is known for shopping. You're supposed to be able to get like brand names like, I don't know, expensive purses, glasses, electronics here in, in Paraguay. We're just looking for our usual, which is stickers and patches for our travels, um, which we haven't been able to find here. But people come here to shop. Brazilians come to Paraguay to shop and all these markets, we're kind of on the sh big shopping street. There's also a big mall. Um, so interesting, very, definitely cheap. I would say half the price of a lot of things in Rio de Janeiro. Um, so yeah, shopping in Paraguay. Shopping is very interesting. There was not one single store or brand name that I recognized. So this is all off-brand stuff, which is fine. Which does mean it's definitely cheaper. Should you go to Paraguay? Yeah, sure, you could. Is it exciting and amazing? Not really. It's mais ou menos. There's not a lot to see. If you want to buy a bunch of cheap stuff, stuff for your house, perfume, purses, clothes water bottles stuff like that you can find it for probably like half the price of what we saw stuff in Rio so um, I can see why Brazilians want to come here and shop because it is cheaper there's not much to see the food is mais ou menos um, but if you want to come so that you can say you've come to another country it's doable getting past the border at least in a tourism visit vehicle was really easy. We just gave them our um, information in advance and then we didn't even have to stop and get out and do any paperwork. So our passports weren't officially stamped, but that's okay because we went in, had a full tour of the city and tried the food, walked around, had the pretty much the full experience in just a couple hours and now we're headed out. So it's only like a half an hour away from Iguazu Falls. So if you're visiting the falls, you could easily pop into Paraguay. Another way to come into the country is there is a catamaran dinner cruise and it goes to all three countries. So it goes, it doesn't go to the falls, but it goes through all these rivers. So it covers Brazil, Argentina, and Paraguay. So you could do the dinner cruise and also get into Paraguay that way. Uh, but otherwise it was cool. I'm glad we did it and we got to go into a new country. That's the so this is the Argentina side and this is the Paraguay side and then this is the Brazil side. 